Ah, bom, queria também fazer uma pergunta dupla para aproveitar o finalzinho. Ah, queria saber como é que a senhora, como uma economista mulher que chegou a importantes espaços de poder, aí o FMI, o Banco Mundial, o Banco da Inglaterra, qual que é a importância de a gente ter mais economistas mulheres e economistas negros, já que eles são parte importante da formulação de políticas públicas nos países? E queria saber também como é que a gente vai aproveitar a mais os talentos de mulheres, de minorias, de pessoas vindas de famílias pobres, como a senhora propõe no seu livro, se essas pessoas pessoas estão hoje fora dos centros de poder, fora dos espaços de decisão. Vou aproveitar, Minuxi, e pedir para você falar um pouquinho da sua trajetória, já que a gente não fez isso ao longo do programa, porque acho que ela explica muito isso que a Thais está perguntando. Yes. So, um, I quite agree that it's really important that we get more diversity among economists. The profession of economics is very influential and powerful, and uh, it has a very poor track record in terms of attracting women and minorities. In, if you look across the world at kind of PhD programs in economics and graduate programs in economics, it's only 30% female. And compared to other disciplines like engineering, medicine, law, they've done much better at getting more women uh, into those professions than economics has. You know, I think we have to grow the pipeline. So at LSE, for example, we have designated certain scholarships for women in economics because they're so underrepresented that we want to attract more women into the field. I think we also have to work with young people and make economics more attractive. I think many, many young girls, when they think about economics, they think, oh, that's just about maths and business and it's very abstract. And actually, no, economics is about things that affect all of our lives, the nature of the labor market, gender roles, what, what government spends money on, uh, all of those things that are really important to all of us. And so I think we need to talk about economics in ways that makes it more attractive, particularly to children from poorer backgrounds and, and, uh, and, 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 and young girls. Uh, and I think it's really important. And then in terms of my own uh, trajectory, um, well, that's a long story, but I guess uh, the short version is uh, I was born in Egypt and uh, I came from actually quite an academic family. Uh, my father was a scientist, my grandfather was a scientist, um, but then we lost everything in the nationalizations in Egypt in the 1960s. So we started from scratch. So, you know, I had, I experienced massive downward social mobility <laughs> from being pretty well off to not having very much. Uh, and then basically it was education that uh, that saved us. My father had an, had, had an education. He was able to get a job. He put huge emphasis on us getting an education. He would always say, they can take everything away from you except your education. And so we were, uh, you know, we were really encouraged to do well at school. Uh, and that was my salvation. And that was what was enabled me to then get a scholarship, uh, do a PhD uh, in Oxford, and then go on to have a career. So I think that personal experience of, uh, of how things, you know, social mobility is very fragile and how education is really the path forward for improving your life. I think that personal experience obviously shaped my intellectual thinking and is reflected in the book.